Humans have been shaping the animal kingdom for thousands of years through a process called artificial selection. While natural selection is driven by the environment, artificial selection is driven by us, humans choosing which traits we find desirable and selectively breeding for those characteristics. Take dogs, for example. Thousands of years ago, all dogs descended from wolves. But today we have hundreds of different breeds, each with unique appearances and behaviors. From the tiny Chihuahua to the giant Great Dane, every breed has been crafted by humans to serve specific purposes. Hunting, herding, companionship, and more. Let's take a closer look at the Pug, one of the most recognizable dog breeds today. Believe it or not, Pugs from the 1800s looked quite different. Over the years, breeders selected for exaggerated features like their flat faces, curly tails, and small size, all traits that we now associate with the modern pug. However, these changes have come with consequences. Many pugs suffer from respiratory issues due to their short snouts, something that didn't affect their ancestors. The same goes for many other breeds. Bulldogs, for example, have been bred to have broad shoulders and large heads, which has led to difficulties with natural birth. Similarly, dachshunds were bred with long bodies and short legs to help them hunt small animals, but this has made them prone to spinal issues. Humans have applied artificial selection not just to dogs but to countless other animals and even plants. Cows, horses, chickens, and crops like corn and wheat have all been selectively bred to meet our needs, whether for food, work, or aesthetics. But what's fascinating about dogs is how quickly and dramatically we've been able to change their physical and behavioral traits through selective breeding. In just a few generations, you can see significant differences in a breed's appearance and behavior. This level of manipulation is something that's unique to artificial selection, as it bypasses the slow, natural process of evolution. Of course, there are ethical considerations. While we may breed animals for specific traits, these traits don't always align with the animal's health and well-being. Some breeds are now more prone to genetic disorders, and the intense focus on physical characteristics has sometimes come at the cost of the animal's overall quality of life. So, when you look at your dog, remember that they are the result of thousands of years of human influence. From wolves to the modern breeds we know and love today, it's a story of how humans have shaped the animal world to fit our desires, and a reminder of the responsibility we carry when doing so. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, make sure to like and subscribe for more content about the incredible ways humans have shaped the natural world. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite dog breed and did you know its history? See you next time.